I don't want to do that. What happens is that you, know, you can't even solve them <coughs> unless you have the the plasmids on. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs, and now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. <laughs> Sorry about that. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs, and now here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. Um, just let me double check if I can hack these things before we go through. No, I can't. What I can do is wait out the security shutdown and then hack them. And I want to do that because this is a set piece. And there will be combat here later on. I'm just trying to find if there's anything other than the two turrets that I can hack. I thought there were security cameras as well. Now I don't want to go up there yet. Wait a minute, there's a bot shutdown. A bot shutdown means there will be bots. Well, <laughs> that might seem pretty obvious, but there'll be bots but there are no cameras so I guess the bots will just come by themselves ammo and just let me hack this other stuff so you see that that's not actually solvable There, like you can't get past them. But because I'm invisible, they can't do anything. Okay, so the turrets are now are now active. Oh, there is a camera. What's going on? I thought, I thought there wasn't. Did I completely just miss that camera earlier? Oh wait, research. Can I... Heck. 
like this. I can't seem to be able to hack it. Well, that, that's not very good. And it's not actually... Whoa! It is a... What? Why can't I hack it then? Wow, I don't, I don't... I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, let's hack this. Is that four? Look, look, it aggroed on me, but I can't hack it. Ah, never mind. Let's just go up here. Dr. Julie Langford, botanist. Julie, we made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. <laughs> Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait, no, please. Without it, we're back in the swamp. <laughs> Ryan is still <laughs> talking about the Tenderloin. If you serve that in any respectable hotel in New York, they laugh you out of town. The finest? The finest. Hardly. <laughs> He's still talking about the capitalist ideology, but it's killing people. Who's that? Girl? Where did that other splicer go? Okay, I think now we can... Oh, it's attacking me. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Is it? Hack the camera now or not? Ouch. Oh wow, there's still a lot to go with the turrets. So now we wait for the camera to swing the other way. Then 
we hack the turrets. I think we hack the camera. Research on the Ludini splices. I, I have. Let's see if we can let the security. Interestingly, it's not aggroed. But it is now. Alright, so we've hacked all of those things. Now we go back to Julie's office. I mean, I'm doing this first because once you go to Julie's office and do the next thing, then you come back out and there's more enemies. So I'm basically dealing with the enemies a little bit at a time. I've been killing trees for 25 years at Berkeley back in the 20s, on the Japs at Iwo Jima, but I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. So the Lazarus Vector brings trees back to life. lab things and other things and a very obvious secret panel and I think that's all the loot all right it's safe damn nine four five seven genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons. I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. You have a multi-part goal. Press M to see all the parts of the goal and switch which ones active, blah 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 blah. So we need things. I've got enough chlorophyll. I need distilled water and oil jelly or something. Alright, let's, let's go for it. So now we're going back out. And again this bit, you know, again they give you a puzzle where they show you the enemies, or they show you the layout of the room and the enemies. You see the turrets, the cameras, and everything else. 
and then you come in, talk to her, the story happens, and now you come back out, and then you deal with the puzzle. So again, they're showing you the puzzle before they ask you to solve it. Which is this part. And which, you know, I've already done it, so it's easier. And we have a big daddy. Why do we have incinerate? I don't remember having incinerate. Security bullseye, which we don't need anymore. Target dummy. Daddy, we find the other big daddy. Arcadia is a big place, but mostly rural. If you're looking for something in particular, I'd start at the farmer's market. You keep away from my patients! 